Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing with some makeup, doing a couple different eyeshadow looks, and trying out some new lashes from Profusion. Somehow, somehow, every time my child gets a hold of my phone, he turns the grid lines on, and I have to go in here and try to fix it. <laughs> it's driving me crazy. Anyway, today we are going to play with the Good as Gold palette. I have a blush from L'Oreal, a liner from KVD. I picked up this pack of lashes from Profusion. We have a new setting spray, a primer, and then we have this new brush we're going to try. So let's just jump right into it. First, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. What I wanna do is just do a quick eyeshadow look with the Good As Gold palette. And the first um, look I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to keep it more daytime. And then I want to show you how I would vamp it up and really make it more dramatic, a little bit more nighttime if I was going out or potentially on a date. Um, how I would kind of jazz it up. So take it from day to night. Um, let's see. Sorry if my eyes look a little tired. I don't know what's going on. I have like a headache, right? I think it's sinuses, like right here and then like right behind my eye. And I took some sinus medicine, but apparently it's not doing its job. Okay, so let me go ahead and grab my brushes here. So again, we're going in with this palette. So I can see very easily how I would take it to the next level um, for nighttime. So let me also show you though how I would use this as kind of a daytime look. So I'm just gonna speed this part up and then I'll come back and tell you what shadows I used. So here's how I would, one potential way to use this palette as more of a daytime look. So I started with State of Mind, really took that into the crease and up into this uh, upper portion towards my eyebrow. Then I went in with Trooper and took that really into the crease, kind of placing it into where uh, my eyelid folds and blending that in. Then all over the lid, I went in with 24 karat gold on the uh, inner two thirds. And then on the outer third, I went in with Bold Rush. I placed the Bold Rush with this flat shader brush. And then I just kind of really blended it in and tapped it in with my finger to make it a little bit softer, but also to give me a little bit of depth in the outer corner. So this is really, I could stop here and then on the lower lash line, I'd probably do just a little bit of the yellow shade Trooper along the lower lash line. And this would be a very quick and easy way to um, use this palette for a daytime look. Now, let me show you, I'm gonna do one eye. I'm going, oh my gosh, also, I've been trying to get this gel polish off for days. I cannot get it off. If you have a way to take off gel nail polish, let me know. I've been using, I've been applying this Aliver nail polish gel remover that I got off Amazon and I cannot get it off. I can't take it off. I can't take it off. Like it off I can't let me know if you have any tricks for getting this off I've also soaked it in acetone can't get it off but anyways what I'm gonna do now is transition this eye into nighttime and then I will show you the difference and and I will tell you what shadows I used
So here's me taking my daytime look to a more vamped up, uh, exaggerated nighttime look. Now, for me, I would totally just wear this during the day um, because I'm just that kind of gal. But for some people, this, you know, one, uh, may take too much time and two may just be too much. So what I did was I went in with big brooch. I don't know how to say this. Um, and I went in to the inner part and the outer part. And then I also took it on the very tip of the shader brush, like on the very flat tip and just kind of traced my eyelid. So then I went back in with the same brush that I used for the yellow shade earlier trooper and just kind of blended that out um, with no extra product. I just went in with that brush that already kind of had that yellow shade on it. Then I went in with gold star and we, if you've been here for a little while, you know, I love a halo eye, put that a little bit on the outer and the inner and then straight in the center of my eye, I went in with digging you, which is the slider gold shade. So then I took 24 karat, which is the shade we used on the lid over here. And I placed that into the inner corner for, um, inner corner highlight. So then I just went in and kind of deepened up the yellow, made it a little higher, um, and a little bit more pigmented and then blended that out on top with state of mind. So you could also, to take this up another notch, go in with Big Brooch or with Let's Do It and use it on a flat liner brush and use that as eyeliner. Um, but I actually have an eyeliner that I want to test. So there we have going from daytime to a more nighttime look. Now, let me tell you what I have. I have this primer. This is from e.l.f. and I found this at TJ Maxx. This was, you know, if I don't drop it, this was $2.99. So this can't be brand new. I've literally never seen this, never heard of it. This is the e.l.f. Moisture Lock Primer with Hyaluronic Acid. Um, it says this moisturizer and primer one helps lock in hydration for a smooth moisturized canvas that's perfectly prepped for makeup. Infused with hyaluronic acid, this moisture Moisturizer Primer Hybrid melts into the skin for a hydrating complexion and long-lasting makeup. I've literally never heard of this. I've never seen this, like ever. So I don't know if this is new or old, I don't know. Here's what it looks like. It has a bit of a cucumber smell to it. So we're just gonna go right in. Now I'm hoping that this does provide moisture, like it says, because we're going in with a powder foundation today. So anyway, that's the e.l.f. Moisture Lock Primer. Okay, before I go in with the powder foundation, I am going to go ahead and apply, apply concealer and blush. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my under eyes and bring it down onto my cheeks and a little bit on my lip. A little bit on my nose. Oh, that's a look. And then I did just spray my sponge with a little bit of Catrice. Look at that. It's my favorite. I feel like it's drying down a little bit faster than I'm used to. I don't know if that's the primer. But like I'm trying to blend and I already just, I feel like it's on there. For blush, I'm going to use the ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush in now I am going to apply this um, in a possibly two layers um, to build up the color a little bit because I am then going to go over it with the powder foundation. And this already kind of sinks into the skin and isn't super pigmented. So I am going to build it up or attempt to, we'll see how that works. Now, here's the big ticket item I wanted to show you. I have never ever seen a brush like this. I also found this at TJ Maxx a while back. This is the Smashbox Camera Ready Powder Foundation Brush. Um, this was $14.99. This says, pair with powder foundation, high-tech synthetic fibers for durability and control. Superior blending creates a flawless finish application buff over face in a circular motion now here's what's interesting about this if you look in the middle it's like dense but then it has what would you call that 
like a stippling brush on the outside. It's honestly so weird. So what we're gonna do is, let's see, let me find the brush that I use typically with, okay. So I think the last time that I did this powder foundation, I used the NYX Professional Makeup, whatever this brush is, cause it's like a densely packed brush, which reminds me of the brush in the center. But then it's got these stippling, it's just interesting. So we're gonna see if this actually makes any difference in the application. And for the powder foundation, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation in a Powder. If you have not seen where I did my initial kind of like wear test of this, I will link it for you up above. So this is in the shade Pearl. Okay, so I'm gonna apply this side with the NYX brush and this is how I did it. I think it's been a while so I just kind of tap it in I'm gonna tap the excess off and then I just kind of patted it on or that's what I'm gonna do right now I honestly kind of can't remember how I did it last time okay let's see how does it look if I buff doesn't look horrible okay now here's the test going over my cheek where I already have another product Okay, I'm gonna try to swirl it back here, kind of buff it and see what happens. Mm, my nose doesn't look good. I'm thinking that might be the primer. All right, so let me pull you in. So with just the NYX brush, I don't know if you can see like right here on my pores. Mm-hmm. Kind of like accentuated my pores right there. And like it's kind of breaking up on my nose. So I'm not loving how it's looking right here. So now let's try the Smashbox brush. So I'm going to tap into the product and start back here like I did the other side of my face. So maybe this is supposed to be like the best of both worlds because you have that denser area in the middle to kind of pack on the product, but then you have the stippling brush to kind of buff the product in. Now I will admit my nose does not look great. I'm thinking that's the primer because it doesn't look good on either side. But look at my cheek. See how like my pores are accentuated on this side? Sorry, my nose, I know, just ignore it. Look how much nicer this side looks. I'm definitely thinking I don't like that primer because like my under eyes look a little weird and my nose is already breaking apart and I'm not a fan of that. This side looks better than just going in with a straight um, densely packed brush. Something about this, like applying it with this denser side, but then having the stippling on the outside. I mean, I'm sure I could maybe could go in with this brush, pat it, and then try to distribute it with a stippling brush. But the fact that this is like a two in one deal, I don't know. Something about that really worked. So yeah, um, if you happen to find this at TJ Maxx, on sale I, I would never pay full price for this I I'll look up and see if this is even still sold like at regular price or not but something about this really works quite nicely so we'll be putting that in here and this can go over here with this little friends that I don't use as often I did see I had a blush didn't I Oh well, we'll just put it over top. All right, so this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Satin Blush. This is in the shade Rosewood Nars Orgasm Vibes. That pinky with that gold in it. Okay, we'll just put a little dibby dab. I mean, that's pretty. What I I got this like. I think for free or under $2 couponing, which is why I have it. Would I buy it full price? No, because like this Age Perfect line is, I'm gonna say it's like 12 or $13, so that's okay. I'm not super wowed by it, so. Another product I wanted to try is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. It's this waterproof liquid eyeliner. So this is like the small version. I got it, um, when I did the, when I ordered the Good Apple Bomb Foundation. I'm gonna try it on this eye over here and we'll see how this goes. Oh, this is in the shade Mad Max Brown. It's so tiny. Oh, 
I need to know how people do their liner. I'm trying to do the babiest of wings. It also doesn't help the second I touch this eye. It just starts pouring. So that's not bad. I think that's definitely one that like you need to shake as you go. Oh my and I'm gonna add some bronzer. I'm gonna use my Believe Beauty Sunstruck Marbleized Bronzer in Golden Sienna. Seriously, it's under five dollars at Dollar General and it's my absolute favorite at the moment. Use it every day. Oh, we didn't do brows either. For brows, I'm gonna get in with my Flower Beauty uh, Fiber Fix Brow Gel in Blonde. So one of the little random things that makes me happy is having my lipstick match my hair sometimes. So when my hair was just super dark red, I had this color 99% um, chance of wine that I would wear to match my hair. Well now my hair has magenta in it. So my sister and I went to Walmart and she just on the money picked up this color. Um, this is from NYX. This is the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in Sweet Tooth. And I also have the matte lip liner in Sweet Tooth as well. Have I had that black thing stuck between my teeth this whole entire video? Nobody told me. Okay, let's try this, the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. Oh, that's a aggressive mister. Oh, it's in my eyes. Okay, be careful. That's aggressive. That's aggressive. It, it is aggressive, aggressive. Whew. Oh, that smells good, though. That soaked my shirt. Absolutely soaked it. Okay, I need to do this other eye <laughs> and then we will come back and we will try out these Pro Fusion Iconic 3D Foam Ink Lashes. So I went ahead and popped on the lashes from Pro Fusion. Here are my thoughts. I actually really like how they're a little bit smaller. I feel like I could wear these with my glasses and I like the um, adhesive that comes with it. Um, I guess my only issue is I don't actually like this style. Um, these are called Oh Darling Natural Wisp. I tend to like when they're a little bit shorter in the inner corner and a little bit thicker on the outer. But I feel like these lashes would do well um, under my glasses. So let me see. Yeah, like I can wear these under my glasses and they're not going to um, be hitting my lenses the entire time. So actually, I am not mad at these at all. And you get five pairs um, in it. I, the packaging's a little much. Um, but yeah, as far as the actual lash and as far as the adhesive, so far I don't have any issues. Let me see. Those actually seemed to be pretty quick. I tend to have issues when applying false lashes. It can be kind of hard for me. And I really didn't have any issues getting these on now they're not extreme or anything but again I like these because I feel like I could wear them under my glasses so we need some mascara okay so to finish up the lower lash line I'm just going to go in with some of the shade trooper and buff that onto the lower lash line and then I'm going to pop a little bit of 24 karat gold on the inner corner for highlight. My nose looks awful. I'll be the first to say it. My nose is not doing. Okay, so let's go back over everything. What all did we try? Okay, the primer, don't think I'm loving it. Like, let me pull you in. Do you see how it's just completely like, look? Yeah. Don't think I love the primer. The blush is okay. I would never pay for this retail price. Um, you could get something super similar from Wet n Wild and Elf. So, and again, this was in the shade Rosewood. Um, this liner from Kat Von D is actually really nice. I just think it's one that like you kind of got to shake while you're still using it to keep the product coming because as long as it's saturated, it's a really easy glide. But if it starts to kind of dry, it tugs a little bit. But super nice. Um, the dewy setting mist, fabulous smell. The sprayer 
is a little aggressive. Like, it looks like it comes out nice, but it kind of falls in droplets. But it smells amazing. Um, do, 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 do. The brush from Smashbox is definitely interesting. Um, I still definitely prefer this side of my cheeks compared to this side. They just... It looks so much nicer on my pores. And then the lashes from Profusion. These are not bad. Let me clean off my glasses. Yeah. They're not hitting my lenses, which is definitely what I like. Yeah. Those are nice. Super quick and easy to put on. And also, I really like the lash glue. And then again, the Good as Gold palette. Um, definitely a nice palette that you can take from daytime to nighttime. Ooh, look at this. Like, glittery shade called Nugget about it. So yeah, that's me just kind of playing with some different makeup. Um, thank you for watching this video. I hope you will. Oh. I need to try that uh, Q-tip hack. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you will like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.